Hello class. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. Welcome, Esther. Welcome, Juan Carlos. Thank you, teacher. How was your How was your day today? No, uh, no, normally. It was normal, an average day. Okay. What about you, Esther? How was your How was your um, day today? Not uh, very busy. I can only imagine. Oh no. Well, you know that's life. You know, you sometimes uh, you you just have to wait it out. You know, it's it's not easy. Uh, but you know, the good thing is that you know we have a job. You know, we have lots of things to do. You know, and and, and that's something to always thank, be thankful for. Thank God that we have. Um, you know, lots of things to do, <laughs> right? And that we can do it, right? So that's important. All right, guys. Um, hello, welcome, Nancy. How are you? Hello, DJ. I'm great, and you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, yeah, hey, good to see you. How was your day today, Nancy? It was great, and you, DJ? Um, it was good, tiring. It was a, it was a tiring day, um, today. But it was a good day. I would say I I, I can't complain. So yeah, we're 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 um you know, uh, doing things and um, trying to uh, move along with lots of things to do. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's um good to see you again. Um, okay, well, before before anything, I just wanted to uh, make sure that everybody understood yesterday's class, right? Um, so in order to do that, what I'm going to ask you to do, well, I'm going to actually share with you in this moment the, um, the whiteboard, and please tell me when you, it's possible for you to see it. I can see the share. Good. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to start right away because I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to um, go over time. So what are we going to do? Um, the first thing I like us to do is just uh, quickly review, okay? Um, how we do the wishes. Remember, um, in in for wishes we need to do what we call backshift. Um, backshifting means that what we do is we go to the past. That's backshift. So if the if the sent, the verb is in the present, we're going to or the simple present, we're going to go to the simple past, right? So that's that's backshifting. Okay, so that's what we're gonna we're gonna practice right now, um, backshifting, just to make sure that everybody understands the what backshifting or how to backshift. Okay, um, and it's this is not just about backshifting, but backshifting with opposite meaning. Okay, and what I mean by backshifting with opposite meaning is that yesterday we saw that it's not just about um, going to the past, but also doing the opposite, right? So if it's negative, we're going to make it positive. If it's positive, we're going to make it negative, right? So that's what we're going to be doing, okay? So I'm not going to actually give you sentences this time. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write um, the verbs and just just the, the regular verbs in, 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 in different forms, okay? So for example, um, if we say um, well, I'm going to start with a very simple one. Okay. 
Actually, you know what? Before I write that, reality. let's write down reality. And this is the wish. Okay. And um, very, very quickly, uh, let's write down. Okay. Where verbs like, for example, are. Um, let's have a want, um, don't need, um, a have, no, has, so maybe it has, um, let's use a, is, working, um, have been, a, have been, um, I'm going to make some negatives, we'll put, um, hasn't, don't uh, play or don't yeah let's just like, yeah, play. okay so um what I'm gonna ask you to do is like okay so we have these verbs here and all we're gonna do is we're gonna change these verbs to the past the, the sorry the, yeah the back shifting form okay in the opposite form okay so in this case so the wish now becomes the um, so R what is the past of R where where in good okay so um, the past of R is were but um, just as has been mentioned we're going to be, um, uh, we're going to be going to the past, okay, and the, uh, sorry, we're going to, sorry, the opposite, the opposite of where would be? So the opposite is, this is this is a, the op, what I mean by opposite is that were is affirmative. Where? The opposite of affirmative is negative, right? So what's the opposite of were? Where? What's the negative form of were? Were not. Exactly. So we're going to say were not or uh, the contraction weren't. Okay. All right. Let's go now to want. What is the the past of want? Wanted. Good. Okay. So we have wanted. And of course, we're going to um, we want to use the the, the opposite. Oops, hold on. we're going to use the opposite. Oh, yeah. um, so, we're, what is the opposite of wanted? Didn't want. Exactly. Didn't want. Don't need. What is the past of don't need? Need it. Need? Didn't what? Need. Need it. Didn't 
Okay, so the past of, 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 did it, of don't need is didn't need. And of course, we're going to um, we're going to put here the the opposite. What is the opposite of didn't need? Need. Did. Needed. Exactly. The opposite of didn't need is needed. Okay. All right. Has. What is the past of has? Has. Had. Okay. All right. Now let's. Um, okay. Let's now go to the. The opposite of had. What's the opposite of had? Had. Oh my goodness, what's the passive had? Had not. Sorry, the, the, sorry, not the passive. Passing. Passing. Is is passing? Didn't have. Didn't have. Pardon. Didn't have. Yeah, didn't have. Be please very careful with this. The opposite of had is didn't have, it's not hadn't, because, oh, okay, well, because had is a verb here, the verb, so therefore we're going to be, um, we're, the, we're going to be using an auxiliary, and in this case the auxiliary is didn't, right, and we're going to be using, um, yeah, the auxiliary and um, and the verb, right? Okay. All right. Any questions so far? No teacher. Okay. Good. Uh, pa what is the past of is working? Was working. Was working. Working. Was working. Was working. Sí, y la camisa. Okay, so um so was so the past of, of is working is was working, right? Okay, now remember what I told you last class that we can use it is possible to hear people say was for the wish, but the most common is where. Where to? Good. The most common would be um, we're working, okay? Um, even if it's I or he or she or it, it's still going to be the same, okay? All right. Now, um, yeah, okay. Now we're going to do the opposite of was or were working. Wasn't working? Wasn't working. Weren't working. Working. Weren't working. Okay, good. Exactly. Was or weren't working. That would be our past. Okay. So far, so good. Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Okay, 
All right, so let's um, let's go now to this one over here. Have been. What is the past of have been? Had it been? Had been? Okay, good. Now, you remember what, um, okay, so in this case, um, so we have have, the past, the ha passive have is had, right? So that's okay. Now, in the opposite, okay, we're going to now do the opposite here. So what is the opposite of had been? Did had been? Had it been? Okay, so the passive hadn't been, sorry, the had been is hadn't been. Now, my, so in other words, to have been will change to hadn't been. Now, the question is, why did I accept hadn't as the passive have and not here? And, um, on to this one? Well, because in this one, have is the main verb. And in this one, have is the auxiliary. The main verb is be. Does that make sense for everybody? How we can know um, where, when is the main verb? If it doesn't have another auxiliary. So here, it, we know that it's an auxiliary because there's another word after it, and the word is been. And this one, the word is heen, seen, right? So in this case, the, the have or has and it's going to be an auxiliary. But in this one, we know it's a main verb because have is by itself. There's nothing that follows it. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. Any questions? Because um, I really want you guys to ask any questions, um, you know, before we move on because I want this to be very clear. I'm saying this because this is one of the most common um, mistakes that that people make. I have noticed this is the most, probably the most common mistake that um, people make of changing, um, saying that the past of have is hadn't. But no, if, if own, that's only if have is an auxiliary, then the past would be hadn't. But if it, the verb, if have is a, a main verb, then we're going to use the auxiliary do. And so in this case, we have have changes to had, and in the negative, didn't have, right? Because so the didn't comes from do. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next part. Hasn't seen. What is the past of hasn't seen? Hadn't seen. Exactly. So it's going to be hadn't seen. And what would be our opposite of hadn't seen? Had seen. Had seen. Right. Had seen. Okay. So the past would be had seen. Okay, all right, and the last one, don't play. What is the opposite, or sorry, what is the 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 past form of don't play? Didn't play. Didn't play. Right, excellent. And now let's um, do the opposite of didn't play. Did play. Did play. Played. 
Thank you. Yes, plate. All right. So if you were having trouble with this, I need you to practice a little bit more. Uh, make sure that you are using um, or that you know how to make the verbs in the past and then change them to the opposites, okay? So do more practice with that, okay? All right, so that's just a, a review of what we saw last class. What we're gonna do right now, um, by the way, any questions at this moment? Anything you wanna ask me before we continue? All is clear, teacher. Okay, great, perfect. In that case, what I'm gonna do, everybody stop sharing, I'm gonna stop sharing right here, right now. Um, okay, and for homework, everybody, I asked you to, um, to make some sentences about the, about um, your reality and the the wishes that you had but the first thing i'm gonna so we're gonna be um, working with our groups okay we're gonna be working with groups and we're going to be sharing our answers okay so i want you to be able to share and what i need you to do is not just listen to your classmates i mean that's wonderful if you want like listening to your classmates great but i don't want you to limit yourself just to listening to them actually active participate so the idea is for you to get more practice by check making sure that your classmates are in fact um saying it correctly okay so listen to them and say oh no 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 that's not correct it, this is the the correct form or no i think i don't think that's right because of this oh yeah that's perfect okay so don't just say oh okay okay good yeah next person no like give feedback because no, the idea is not only that you can do it but that you are able to identify if there are mistakes or anything of the sort does that make sense for everybody yes teacher yes teacher okay yes teacher Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to work, like I said, in pairs. And um, I'm going to assign you, so the group that you're gonna work with. And I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna give you too much time because since you'll, you should already have the sentences, it shouldn't take you so long. So I'll give you about six minutes to work on that. Okay, we're starting now. Well, Fredo, do you have any any problems joining the groups? Well, Fredo, do you have any problems joining our group? Well, Fredo. Alfredo, any questions, any problems? Can you open up the microphone? Can you hear me?
Hi, Godofredo. I don't know if you can hear me. And me. I lost my job. I wish I hadn't lost my job. I didn't study for my exam. I wish I had studied for my exam. And I wasn't doing exercise in quarantine. I wish I had done exercise in quarantine. And quarantine. I, quarantine. Thank you. Quarantine. I like I like to change my attitude. I wish I could change my attitude. I want to have a good job. I wish I would have a good job. Ah yes, yes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. The card is very old. Mm -hmm. Question? Yes, teacher. You had a question? Mm, no, I was saying that I have an old car. <laughs> oh, no, it's just, I think, Roxana, I, I think you asked for help. Roxy. Roxy, Roxana, are you there? Roxana? Okay, well. Maybe it's another... sound trouble. Yeah, she got, I got a notification that, that she was asking for help. Maybe her, her, her question was related to the microphone or something like that. Yes. Okay, sorry. Any any questions, guys? Uh, girls, uh, do you have anything you want to ask me? Mm. Are we waiting for questions? Sorry? I don't have questions. Neither do I. Hello. Hello. So Hi. Hello again, Roxy. My oh, teacher, I don't have any questions. Oh, okay. Roxy, do you have any questions? The teacher is asking us. Yes, I have problems with my microphone. Oh, okay. But you don't, can... You don't can hear voices, everyone. I don't hear voices. Oh, okay. I see. Well, do your best job, um, Roxy. And if um, if you are if you cannot hear the class very well, then you can see the class later on YouTube, right? But um, do your best job, okay? So stay with us. Don't worry. And if you can participate, if if you can open the microphone, it's okay too. We understand. Yes. Okay, you can continue. Okay. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, for yes. But it, um, it's not a easy topic. Yes. It's a little bit complicated. Yeah. What questions I, do you guys have? Uh, we finished, teacher. Oh, you already finished. Okay. Did you have any problems? Any questions? No, only is a little bit no. difficult. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. What I'm going to ask you to do now is 
Um, since you already finished, yesterday remember that you did five sentences with realities. Now I want you to read it to your classmates and they are going to do the changes uh, from reality to wishes. Okay? Okay. okay. Right, go ahead. Nancy, you can read your sentence if you want. In... Pero no es como la oración que no Why the sentence? Uh -huh. uh, word difficult What? or different word? Different so, uh -huh. so, different You trabajo. need different word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't wish uh, is your you word wish you what need difficult. I wish my word was difficult. I think. Or maybe I wish uh, your wish your wasn't maybe difficult work. Mm -hmm. Difficult work. This is really what? What is the question you guys have? Mm -hmm. I sentence um, my word is difficult. Y en reality. Um, de ahí, en wish. Um, I wish I have different job. O sea, uh, how uh, sentences. Yo. I. Bueno, eso tengo la duda. <laughs> Sir, I don't, I don't understand the question. Okay. Hi, en reality. Yeah, the sentence is correct. The, the, okay. the, the sentence, there is no problem. Yes. Do you have a question about, about the sentence or it's just that you wanted to know if it was correct? I think it's correct. But um, I guess it's different to sentences we we work with. Mm -hmm. Yes, and sorry, a job. No, well, the sentence is correct. Yeah, there is not a problem with the sentence. It's fine. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay, so I think we have everybody back, or at least the majority of the people. Okay, good. Any questions, any any problems that you had um, while you were doing this exercise? Okay. Everything is clear. Teacher. We have a problem with the sentences like the is difficult. I don't understand. Can you repeat the question, Juan Carlos? My, uh, 
we we I'm nervous. Uh, it's okay. We have we, we have we have we have problem we have problem I I have problem with my with the sentences my job is difficult I think the sentences in English is I wish my job wasn't difficult but my partner uh, say tell you I wish my I wish I need my uh, other job and another job, I think. Okay, I understand now. The reality is, I w uh, sorry, the reality is my job is difficult. Yes. Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, if we're going to change that particular sentence, yes, we're going to change the is to the past was. And the opposite of was is wasn't, right? But remember it's also, we said that the most common one would be to change not was, but were, right? So it would be were, or in this case, weren't. So yes, and technically speaking, um, you can say my, my job, I, sorry, I wish my job weren't difficult. But, but the thing is that um, there could be a lots of different wishes about this, right? So you can wish about different things about talking about this job. You know, oh, you know, my job is so difficult, so difficult. So I wish I had another job. Um, I wish I could change jobs, et cetera, et cetera. But if you are just changing that particular sentence to a wish, yes, it would be weren't. So, I wish my job weren't difficult. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, all right, class. Well, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to be learning um, about another topic. Okay, we're going to move on to the next topic, which is talking about the simple past, okay, which we've, we've talked about. We actually talked about the simple past in the first week of this course. So you should know the simple past. But today we're going to be learning about the present perfect. And the present perfect, what it is, is a structure that mm, it's about the past, okay? The present perfect is about the past, but it's it's um, the the name is present perfect because it connects the past to the present that's why that's why we call it the present perfect even though it's a verb sorry it's a structure that belongs to the past does that make sense for everybody yes teacher Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm just explaining that because some people, I uh, don't understand if it's the if it's about the past. Why is it called the present perfect? And it's simply because um, it's we're connecting the past to the present, and that's why it's, it's it has that name. So let's um I'm going to now um, share my screen again. L uh, my whiteboard. Let me know when you can see the whiteboard. Right now, I can see it. Beautiful. Okay. So let's start. We're going to be, like I said, we're going to be talking about the um, we're going to be, com we're going to contrast actually the Simple. Well, actually, I'm, just, I'm going to call it present. Ah. Present perfect versus simple past. Okay. So, when do we use the present perfect? When do we use simple past? Well, 
first of all, like I said, to understand this topic, we got to understand why we use the present perfect and why we use the simple past. So let's start with the simple past because that's, that's the easiest one to talk about. So, um, mm -hmm. so we have simple past is used to describe an action that um, finished in the past and we normally actually mm, no let me let's let's erase that I'm not gonna erase this it finished in the past and um no I'm gonna change that finished at a specific time in the past let's put it that way and here here the the, the um, let's say the the important part that we have here is the fact that it says here it's specific it's a specific time okay so we know ex we usually know exactly when it finished and also another thing is this part here that's also important that it's finished it's completed it's not in the middle right it's not where it's not like it's not half completed it's already finished okay whereas if we're talking about the present perfect present the present perfect is used to describe an action that finished in the past okay but in this case the important thing here is that it was finished at an indefinite time in the past and that's where where this these two are different okay and we can use this structure to talk about experiences okay all right so we can talk we can um we can use a structure to talk about experiences now an experience is something that happened in the past right um but the when it finished is not really important when we're talking about an experience when it finishes is really not important what's more important is the actual experience itself that it did happen so that's why in this one the most important part here is the indefinite time okay okay indefinite time so we know that it finished in the past okay we know it finished in the past but it's an indefinite time in other words we don't know when it happened we don't know if it happened you know five years ago we don't know if it happened yesterday we don't know if it happened at the beginning of your life okay so we can use this to talk about experiences all right is that pretty clear for everybody so far? Yes, you sure. Okay, so now that we understand that, um, let's talk about experiences, okay? Um, in this particular lesson, we're gonna talk about not really just talking about experiences, but asking about experiences, okay? So when we ask for an experience, when we ask if the person has had an experience, um, then we can say like this. For example, have, have you, 
have you ever okay and then dot the dot right so have you ever uh, and then over here we're going to put in this part here the dot 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 uh, this part is going to be the past participle okay so in order to do this you you have to know your past participles if you don't know your past participles you're going to be in big trouble okay um do you guys remember past participles i don't yes you sure for the people that don't remember past participles um, well, with regular verbs, they're the same as the simple past, okay? So, for example, walk, uh, the, the simple past of walk is walked, and the past participle of walk is walked, so it's the same. But the thing where it's a little bit different is when we have, for example, um, uh, the irregular verbs, like, for example, take. What's the past participle of take? It's taken, right? So that's gonna be a little bit different. So um, I'm gonna ask you, for example, have you ever, um, ridden a horse? Have you ever ridden a horse? Okay. Yeah? Um, or have you ever um, swam, swum in a river? Okay. Uh, have you ever um, visited Guatemala? Okay, and so on. Those kind of things, okay? So notice over here, uh, we always have to make sure that we are that we're going to be using the um, the past participle, right? Okay, so written, swum, and with regular verbs, it's just the same as the simple past. Okay, that's the past participle. Okay, all right. Now. How would you answer this question? Have you ever have you ever ridden a horse? Have you ever swum in a river? Have you ever visited Guatemala? Um, how would you answer those questions? Well, it's very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to answer. There, there's basically two ways that we can answer. We can either say yes or no, right? Have you ever done these things? And the answer is going to be very simple. You're either going to say yes, you have done it or no, you have it. So you could say, for example, yes, and what would be the answer? I have. Writing exactly. Yes, I have. Or you can say no. I I haven't. Haven't. Right. No, I haven't. Um. Or you can even say simply something like, no, never, okay? But, you know, you, you could say, no, never. But the best way would be to answer, no, I haven't. And you can even ans answer, no, I haven't, maybe, but I would like to, right? All right, so, no, I haven't, right? You haven't tried it. But, but you would like to do it, right? Okay, so that, that's one way that you can answer, okay? Now, uh, okay, so if you say, if somebody says to you, have, if somebody asks you, have you ever ridden a horse? Um, and you answer, yes, I have. Now, most likely the, 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 best, the best way that you're going, or better said, the logical way is you're going to, the person's going to ask you more questions about it. They're not just going to say, oh, okay, good. Next question, right? You're, you're going to want more questions. Or better, sorry, sorry, you're going to get want more answers, more information about it, okay? If I say, have you ever visited Guatemala? And you say, yes, I have. 
I'm not just going to say, oh, okay, next question. Have you ever visited? No. I'm going to want more information about it. What happened in Guatemala? Who did you go with? Um, how long ago did you go? Et cetera, et cetera. So when you are asking further questions, okay, so when you want to get more information, the person has answered yes, okay, um, then you're going to ask more questions. But the interesting part about this is that when you ask more questions, you're not going to be asking with the ha have you ever, you're not going to be asking with the present perfect form anymore. anymore. Instead, you're going to be asking things like, um, really, for example, um, when did you go? Or who did you, who did you go with? Or did you like it? Or what did you think about it? Okay. Or um, what did okay? So um, so really, when um, did you like? Did you like it? What did you think about it? Um, Um, could be, for example, um, where did you, where did you do it? Okay, so, or where did you go? Or just something, where did you go? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just, these are just some examples of some questions, okay? So if the, per like I said, this is, this is only, this only is, uh, happens, um, this only would make sense if the if the question sorry if the the answer the person gives you is this answer right here okay so if the if the, the person answers yes yes I have then you would say really when did you go who did you go with did you like it blah 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 right now if the person says no I have and obviously you're not gonna ask you're not gonna ask these questions does that make sense for everybody Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 teacher. I understand. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now, in this one, if you notice, um, I the structure that I was using for this one, it. I'm gonna write it the the structure down. The structure would be, ha or have or has. Right depends on on if it's the subject right and then we would have the subject and then um, ever and then the past participle and then the complement and of course I've always well most of the time complement is um, optional, so it's not um, it's not necessary, right? Okay, and of course we would have the question mark because it's a question, right? So um, this would be the structure that we would we would use in um, um, in the question form. Okay. Now, so that's yeah. So this is. This is um, using the present perfect. Now, however, what I want you to notice is when you are um, when you are asking more information about it, uh, even if you have asked the question in the present perfect, the questions about the extra information, if you notice, is not going to be in the present perfect. If you notice, we're going to be using when did you go who did you go with okay did you like it okay what 
did you think about it? Where did you go? So notice, what form do we use in this one? Simple past. Simple past. Exactly. So, does this make sense for everybody to ask about additional information about the experience? Um, use a simple pass form. Is that, is that clear for everybody? Can you guys hear me or no? Yes, all is clear, teacher. Okay, good. And the same thing happens when you're giving extra information. For example, if you say, have you ever, um, have you ever ridden a horse? Then you say, yes, I have. Okay, so you're answering with the, sim the present perfect. However, however, um, if you want to give more information, then the same thing is going to happen. With additional information, you're going to be as answering in the simple past. So if you say, yes, I have, and I loved it. I did it last June. We went with my brother to a a um, um, a cottage in the countryside okay so if you're going to give more information right um then you're going to be using the simple pa the simple past, right? Just as oops, oh, oh, hold on. Okay, so you're going to be using um, uh, the the simple past to give more information, just like if you notice here. I loved it. Okay. I did it last June. We went with my brother to a cottage, etc., etc. Okay? So, in other words, for questions and answers about experiences, use the present perfect. For more questions about the information about the experience, you're going to use a simple pass. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, oops. So what? Um, so guys, what we're gonna do right now? Um, I'm gonna stop the class. Um, okay. So we're gonna finish off our class. That. That is all going to be all for today, and I will um, see you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to ask you guys um, to um, answer some questions about um, 
about the uh, about experiences and I'm going to send you the questions on the in the WhatsApp group and I want you to create five questions of your own okay five questions for the present the some the well experiences in the in the present perfect okay okay so that's it guys that will be all I'll see you guys tomorrow have fun and enjoy your 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 evening bye Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bless you. Bye, teacher.